with placing highlights, make sure that the paint is quite dense. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this relaxing video, you will be able to see the painting process of the Prince Charming painting coming to life with the use of acrylics on board. This painting took me weeks to complete. I was filming some bits and pieces and ended up with over 5 hours worth of footage, which I compressed into a 20 minute video form. So I hope you'll get to relax and pick up some useful tips as well. The part that I didn't film though was the brainstorming and working out the concept and composition part, as well as prepping the board with layers of gesso and then paint. So the first step for the actual painting is redrawing or transferring the composition onto the prepared board. First few layers of paint don't matter much. Their main function is to build up the color and luminosity. In the beginning stages, the color usually looks uneven and patchy, which is why you always need to build up your layers when working with acrylics. You can see how rough it looks in the beginning. Now I'm starting to mark some light areas. Later I will be able to define these highlighted areas more, but for now it has to dry. Unlike when painting with oils, acrylics have to be layered up and each layer has to be perfectly dry before you apply the next one. I would like to take a little break to say a big thank you to my wonderful patrons, as many of the videos on this channel wouldn't be possible without their support. You might like to check it out as well, there are lots of extra videos, tutorials, lucky draws where you can win sketches, prints and other things.
that's what I was talking about in the beginning layering up the paint until you get the color that you want mixing some shadow colors here and now highlights If this was an oil painting, I would be working white into wet paint. But for acrylics, you have to premix each transition shade on the palette, and only then you can apply it onto the painting. The same applies to shadow colors. Here is a good demonstration of the color reflex. When colors bounce off the nearby objects and affect the color of an object nearby. You can see how even after days of work it still looks somewhat patchy but that is absolutely normal for the stage of painting Each layer brings more definition. Here you can see a glazing technique. Many artists think that it's only used in oil painting, but you can use a translucent strong color uh, to apply over more opaque layers to intensify the color uh, with acrylics as well.
You can even do this with watercolor and add tempera. The result is a glow from within kind of a finish. It's one of the really old techniques. Um, so yeah, it's, it's, it's quite a cool thing uh, to use, especially if you like very strong, vibrant colors. Most of the footage in this video is sped up quite a bit. I work much slower <laughs> in real life. I decided to keep this little bit in the video. This is what happens when you have to work on something for weeks. It starts to collect dust. Uh, luckily because it's acrylic it dries fast so none of it sticks into the paint. But it's still always a good idea to give it a bit of a brushing. And I have to do it a few times over the process of painting. Now I'm adding in more subjects into the painting. This is not a last minute decision. They were planned to go in. I didn't want to add them too early on so that I don't smudge all the graphite on the black background. That's just one of many reasons why it's a good idea to plan your work on paper before starting on your canvas or board. Here I'm just going through similar stages with the dragonfly as I did with the frog layering and then adding finishing touches. The beauty of working with acrylics is that it dries so quickly and that really cuts down on the drying time.
with placing highlights, make sure that the paint is quite dense. I had a few days break, so I have to dust it again. Another little character to complete the story. And now I'm just working on a reflection of the pillow. I'm using very little paint here to create this effect, just a, just sort of rubbing it into the previous dry layer. This is called a uh, dry brushing technique. And now just signing it. And here is the finished piece. And don't forget to subscribe and press the notification bell if you like this video.
again i just want to say thank you so much to all of my wonderful patrons for the support of this channel i hope you have a lovely day and as always thank you for painting with me